Hi, this is Ask Brock. I'm Brock Yorty. This week's question comes from Brian in South Dakota. Brock, why is it more difficult to drill shales and clays with reverse mud than it is with direct mud rotary? Uh, you know, I think it all comes down to our fluid combination and inhibiting, making sure those reactive soils don't you know, react, don't get sticky, don't swell, don't start to boot off on us. But, you know, with mud rotary, direct mud rotary, we have higher rotations mostly because, you know, uh, top head rigs versus table drives, you know, we're going to have some pretty good rotations. Not saying that some of the newer, you know, tables and whatnot can't have higher RPM speeds, you know, but we also have the jetting action of the bit. You know, we have less surface area because we don't dress out, you know, a standard tricone where we dress a tricone out to become a reverse bit. So we have more metal for clay to stick to, you know, with mud rotary conventional, we're, we're jetting, we're worried about booting off. So we're watching those pressures and we're running a, a good fluid mix, which we need to do with either one. But, you know, that PHPA polymer is going to be in there to stop, inhibit, prevent swelling, getting sticky. So now we have this dressed out bit. We have a minimal impact to the formation. Our engineers are expecting us to run a very light fluid mix. Our PHPAs are dissipating out. We have that slower rotation mostly, you know, and then we have all of that steel surface area all the way up from the, you know, the center of the bit back up from reversing going into this large pit of water you know we have to make sure that we have enough separation so that our solids aren't being blown apart and being pumped back down the backside but we just have so much more space of a uh, you know surface area of cuttings to hit uh drill rod and uh the the bit face and the skirting and then the interior and Shales and clays have an affinity for steel because of their charge and the charge of the steel. So that's where we really get into it. I think a lot of it has to do with us um, running a good, competent fluids mix that's going to inhibit. And we really love to run a lot of fresh water. So I think it has to do with that. And then solid separation, uh, blowing those cuttings apart, good cutting action and then the extra surface area we have. So uh, I agree, I think direct mud rotary for cutting clays and shales kicks butt. And then when we get into back into those, uh, those alluvial formations and stuff where reverse just gives us the minimal impact and gives us a great, you know, a great job at drilling those porosity zones. It's uh, where we have to do a little bit of dual purpose. Good luck, man, I hope you, uh, use some good PHPA and inhibit those clays and shales.